Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about H. pylori, Helicobacter, okay, pylori. This is a microbe that creates a lot of digestive problems, and usually it's asymptomatic. You don't have any symptoms and become, until it becomes activated. Over 50% of the population has this microbe, but they might not have any symptoms from it. Now, this microbe is very, very um, evil because it drills holes in your stomach and your intestines. And the way it survives, because it's hard to live in that acidic environment, in fact, it can't live in a, a pH between one and three, and that's why it's important to keep your stomach really, really acid, uh, it'll bury into the mucous membrane and live there where it's not as acid. Then it has a little trick to make your own stomach uh, neutralize. So it actually decreases stom uh, stomach acids so, so it can live uh, and survive, unfortunately. So they're, they're pretty uh, destructive. Um, now, here are the symptoms for this condition. You have brain fog, um, fatigue, gastritis, it's inflammation of the stomach, ulcers, uh, abdominal pain, decreased neurotransmitters. Why? Because you're not able to digest protein. If you don't have the stomach acid, you can't break down the protein to really make the amino acids that are these, uh, tra uh, these neurotransmitters are made out of. And then we have decreased mineral absorption, especially iron, so you become anemic because you need that strong stomach acid to absorb the minerals. So there goes the uh, potassium, there goes the magnesium, uh, iron, calcium, so you have all sorts of mineral problems. And then you get bloating, of course. Now, if you think about it, if you have a hole in your intestines or in your stomach because of these microbes, think about the, uh, what's gonna happen for like even leaky gut or these little proteins when you're eating are gonna go into the hole and you're gonna get allergies. So all of a sudden, you weren't allergic to this thing and now you're allergic to it. Um, so that's another problem with a lot of itching and histamines and allergies. Uh, these people have a lot of issues. And um, so it affects your mood because the neurotransmitters that can affect a lot of things and mimic a lot of other symptoms and people can put you on the wrong thing. But here's what I would do if I were you. Uh, of course, medically they use a, a couple very strong antibiotics and a protein inhibitor, I mean, I'm sorry, a proton inhibitor, so you, it's like an anti-acid. The problem is a lot of times you may become resistant to that and now you have to get another round or try other medications. So I'm gonna give you some solutions to work with your doc alternatively to see if you can't um, assist the body into doing it more naturally. And these um, natural remedies are anti-H. pylori. They help inhibit this microorganism. Number one, lactic acid bacteria. So that would be in all the fermented foods, like um, that would be in um, sauerkraut, the fermented vegetables, it'll be in kombucha tea, um, very important. And then we have sulforaphane, which is a natural compound in broccoli sprouts, and broccoli itself, and other cruciferous vegetables. So that will inhibit this microbe. And then you have mastic gum. Mastic gum is a type of resin off of a tree off the coast of Greece, this island. Um, that, I mean, you can get it as a supplement, but this is very anti-H. pylori as well. Then you have lactobacillus gasseria, uh, which is an, a specific microbe that tends to kill this. You could find a supplement with that. And I'm going to actually have these all down below in the description so you can check it out. Garlic onion, okay, that'll... That'll kill this thing off. And then horseradish. Now, I hate horseradish. So if I were going to do this, I would take these in pills uh, in a concentrated amount, and I would start consuming them. But of course, start low in the dosage and maybe increase it. And I think uh, you may uh, experience a lot of benefit from doing these natural things. So thanks for watching, and uh, put your comments below. Hey, if you're enjoying my videos, Press the subscribe button below and I will keep you updated on the future events. Thank you so much.